Okay, so we're going to have a look at something a little bit more left to centre. Bit of a premium producer because super rare. So the story goes like this. I'm out riding my bicycle with a friend of mine, a friend of mine called Orazio, and he says to me, I found this wine that's growing in my vi village where I grew up in Sicily. Um, and I said to him, really? What is the name of this wine? So he told me the name of the wine, he started hunting, I started hunting, and then we suddenly realised that this winery is a going concern, and we know a guy that's shipping the wines. He bought some on spec, we opened it, it was amazing, and this is a few years ago. So Passapajaro is the producer, these vineyards are between 75 and 150 years old, high altitude on the side of an active volcano. You find yourself in a situation, you've got a couple of vines, you think to yourself, oh my god, look at that little island over there on fire, I'll climb up and I'll plant a vineyard at 480 metres above sea level. Sensible? No, I don't think so, but the outcome is very good. So, great variety is Norello Mascolesi, and there's also a little bit of Capuccio as well. So, but I think it's almost 100% Norello Mascolesi. Any wine geeks out there want to correct me, please feel free. I don't care. Um, I'm going to pour a little splash in a glass and have a go. When I think about these wines, I think I love volcanic wines. Every time I taste something volcanic, it makes me happy, it makes me hungry as well. This great variety was terrific, and they refer to it quite often as effectively the Nebbiolo of the South. So it has sour cherries, plums, and structure, but it has this beautiful tannin, and there's this kind of really creepy thing that people talk about. It's called a kitten lick of tannin. Bit creepy, bit thingy, but often these wines show it. Gorgeous fruit, strawberry, raspberry, plums, and it just keeps giving and giving, and then yes, it's a kitten lick, it's a bit creepy, but it is. The tannin is there, it's very gentle, it's like a soft caress. It quickens the palate and makes you want to drink more. And that makes me happy. So, very limited amounts. 2013, Passo Norello Mascolesi from Mount Etna. The interesting thing about this wine is, they do a series of wines up higher and higher up the side of the active volcano, which was on fire last year, the lunatics, yes but they blend this back, so what you get, you get aspects from each of the vineyards, and you can taste it, it's got a smokiness, and that's a quality that comes from the soil. So if you want to talk about terroir, and all that kind of French blah, 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 but this is what it's about, it's about the vines, extracting from the soils, and you're getting in the mouth, this is smoky, this is beautiful, this is Etna wine at its best.